Hey, what's up, guys? This shit is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand, I tell you. There is fucking... Guys, so listen. First, we sit here, you know, we're dealing with the whole gay marriage thing coming along. Oh, gay people want to get married. Some people are over here saying, oh, it's just about love. What's so bad about two people want to get married? Then on the other hand, you have the fucking just gay people that only hate really well not even religion because like you know i try to look at all the religions and i'm like they're not attacking all religions they're only attacking christianity they they go to these fucking specific christian bakeries these christian wedding dressmakers and they, they tell them hey you make me a fucking cake bitch okay you make me my fucking wedding dress so i can look fabulous okay because listen guys Fucking, I'll tell you this, the, the, the Christians out there, they don't have a fucking monopoly on, on, on fucking wedding cakes, okay, they don't have a monopoly on fucking wedding dresses, it's not like if you walk into a wedding cake factory, it's gonna, or a wedding cake shop, it's gonna always, in the fucking nine times out of ten, be a Christian fucking wedding cake shop, okay, when you walk in, it's gonna be a non-denominational fucking wedding cake maker. Which means for all these fucking gay people going into these these damn Christian-owned shops, they're searching for these fucking places, okay? They're doing this so they can get on the fucking media and be like, oh, these Christians are fucking hateful. Well, guess what? Fucking being gay is against Judaism. It's it's definitely against fucking Islam. Are you shitting me, dude? You get beheaded for that bullshit. There's no gay people in the Middle East, okay? And I know you guys are like, oh, of course there's some gay. Yeah, but guess what? Those motherfuckers don't, they don't let people know they're gay. They don't do gay shit because they get fucking killed out there. But for some reason, you know, they're not going to Islam owned shops. They're not going to, they're not going to Muslims saying, hey, will you make me, will you, will you, will you make me and my husband a, a nice wedding dress? So first we need to deal with that shit. Then Bruce Jenner comes out talking about, oh, you know, I, I've always wanted to be a woman. Oh, okay, Bruce, you're going to be a woman. Or are you going to cut your dick off? Like, you want to have sex with men? Oh, no, no, no. I'm still a straight man. I just want to be a woman that has sex with women. Then Charlemagne was like, oh, okay, so are you a lesbian? And then he got fucking heat because they're like, you're, in, you're what is it called, inconsiderate for, for calling him a lesbian. Well, he said he wants to be a woman that has sex with fucking women. But he's a woman with a dick, but also a man with titties. Like, shit, is it our fault that we're confused about you, Bruce Jenner? Your name's still Bruce in my eyes, you weird motherfucker. And then we're getting hit with this third wave of feminism. I saw a fucking article like a few days ago. I shit you guys not. This article said, if you're a man and you tell your wife to not have sex with other men, you are oppressing her and you're sexist. And you, you, need, a, you need to become a feminist so, so your wife can have sex with other men. Y'all, are you shitting me right now? Boy, let my damn future wife talk about, hey, honey, I don't have sex with other men. We're not even going to entertain this conversation. I'm just going to start throwing blows like this is fucking Street Fighter 2. Like this is Mortal Kombat and I just heard, finish him. We're going to be fucking fighting right there. Talking about sex with other men. You should be having sex with them before we got married, bitch. Now you're stuck to me, motherfucker. But guys, the main topic is now we're at a all-time low, guys. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm about to tell you guys. Holy shit. There's a new fucking thing called transabled, okay? Not transsexual, not transvestite, not fucking an Asian person named Kim Jong Un Chan. I'm talking about fucking some damn transabled people. Now, this is a person that's born like, I assume you listening and I, you know, you got some eyeballs in your fucking face, you got lips, you got a voice, you got ears they can hear, you got arms, legs, a fucking heart, everything like that, right? Well, they're born, except they got something wrong with them where these motherfuckers, they don't feel like they should have a vagina hole or or a little ass dick or anything like that. These motherfuckers feel like they should have been born with no legs, with no arms, with no eyeballs, with no fucking lips, should have been born with no hair. Like, I don't know what the fuck they feel like, but these fools, they, they, they go and get their fucking body parts amputated and taken out, therefore making them how they feel like they should be on the inside just like a just like a transgender guy is like oh i should have been born a woman i'm gonna go get breast implants you know to, to make me feel more like a woman yeah these motherfuckers are like oh i feel like i should have been born like helen keller i'm gonna get my fucking eyes gouged out it just stabbed me in my fucking eyes with like a fireplace poker or something and i'm gonna feel good in the inside like what the fuck okay listen it, okay hold up if you're born as a transgender person and you feel like oh i have a dick but i don't want this dick i want a vagina hole instead then at least, at least like 
a coochie and a, and and someone's meat, at least those are like equal. Like it's a male genitalia, female genitalia, right? Like they're equal, just different. But shit, to all these transabled people, have y'all motherfuckers never seen Final Destination? Because as far as I'm concerned, look, that's all I would tell the transabled people. I'd be like, look, okay, sir, how do you feel? Well, I feel like. Honestly, I feel like I'm supposed to be Stevie Wonder. I feel like I'm supposed to have no eyeballs in my fucking face. Can you please take my eyeballs out? I'll be like, you dumbass. What about Final Destination? How about the fact that in your mind, just tell yourself that you cheated being blind, you know? You were supposed to be blind, but you cheated it because now you have eyeballs in your head. So just live with fucking eyeballs. Because guess what, guys? I don't really care what you guys have to say. But being born with eyeballs or being born with legs or arms, that's 100% of the times better than being born with no fucking eyes, no arms, no legs, okay? It's always going to be better to be born normal where you can do other things other people can do than to be born disabled, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think anyone disagrees with that. Like, man, honestly, sometimes I wish I was born with Down syndrome just just so I wouldn't have to face prosecution. It's like, what? Bro, Down syndrome, you're going to get made fun of more if you like that. You're going to get made fun of more. Your life will be harder if you don't have fucking legs. What are you talking about? I'll, I wish I was born with no middle toe. That way, when I'm walking around, my footprint in the mud would look different than people, and it would help me. Like, you see how dumb you fucking sound? Like, bro, it's always going to be better to be born, quote-unquote, regular. You know what I mean? So, like, why the fuck would you do that shit? Like, bro, if I felt like, man, I'm just going to, I think Mother Nature, or I think I think Zeus out there, or whoever the hell you look up to, I think, I think that they were supposed to make me with no butt cheeks on my ass. Well, guess what? If you have butt cheeks on your ass, then you just lucked out. Then you maybe the next person. Maybe your siblings don't have butt cheeks. Maybe your son's not going to have butt cheeks. But guess what? You got butt cheeks, so keep them motherfuckers, right? It's like whenever people say, there's starving kids in Africa that could have used that food you just threw out. Motherfucker, there's starving kids in Africa that probably want butt cheeks, too. But guess what? You're just cutting yours off, throwing them in the damn fucking trash, like waste product. Bro, keep your butt cheeks. That's all I'm trying to say, y'all. But anyways, guys, if any of you are transabled, fuck that. If you want, if you don't want your legs, bro, give them to me. I'll have fucking four legs like a cat, and I'll be running around faster than a bitch. You'll see me in the next Olympics with fucking mixed scrot sack written across my damn chest, man. Let's do this. If you you don't want eyeballs, give them to me, bro. I'll be like a fucking, no, I was going to say cyclops. I'll be like a fucking triclops and have three eyeballs in my damn forehead, man. Let's do this. But anyways, guys, sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope none of you are transabled. Um, because I can't, I can only imagine how confusing that must be in your head. Like, man, I, I want to be normal, but to me, normal's not normal. So how do I be normal? Like, fuck that. That sounds confusing as hell. I just hope that all my viewers and all my listeners are just as normal as can be and live normal lives. And I hope none of you guys are getting bullied or fucking, you know, I was going to say made fun of, but like, if you're a guy, you're going to make fun of, cause that's what guys do. We all make fun of each other, but I hope none of you guys are getting bullied or none of you guys are dealing with any of this fucking new new age trends everything shit where you're you're confused and you think you're meant to be black but instead you're not you're a dog but at the same time you thought you were supposed to be a lizard that's black but now you're still a dog and all this i, I hope none of you guys gotta deal with that i hope you guys have a great rest of the day and uh just the normal shit if you like the video oh if you like the video leave a like and it's your lucky day every person that leaves a like no scam guys is gonna get a whole bag of dirty cat litter no scam at all. Like, you know, the normal shit, guys. And toodaloo, motherfuckers. Oh,